Hi everyone, welcome to another YDF Live show. My name is Stephen Aitchison, creator of YourDigitalFormula.com, a program to help you turn your passion into profit using the power of social media, particularly Facebook. Okay, so what I wanted to talk about today is related to the link I've just shown you for YDF Scotland. And it's an idea I've had, well, I had it uh, ages ago, but I never kind of acted on it. And now I've, I've kind of put it out there into the universe and kind of started acting on it. And it's speaking. It's about speaking. It's probably, because I've been thinking over the last few months, okay, how do I get my known, uh, my name known kind of as a speaker? I'm well known on Facebook um, for doing the lives, for doing the kind of Facebook page and all the other pages I've got as well. I've got five or six different pages. So I'm kind of well known for that. Um, but I wanted to kind of be better known for like speaking, speaking on stage and getting the program YDF out there as well. I thought, okay, I need to take it to the next level. How can I do that? So I've been asking that question and it's kind of forward thinking question whereby you're thinking, okay, how can I get my name out there? How can I um, promote YDF better? Because it's helping all of the members um, just now. It's really kind of grown their pages in a big way. It's grown the platform, grown their sales, grown their business in a big way as well. So I know it's good and I know I need to kind of add to it as well all the time. It's grown all the time and changing all the time as well. So I want to take it up to the next level. And I thought the other day I kind of bought a book by Andy Harrington and it's um, Passion to Profit, which was strange because myself and Maria um, did a webinar um, just last week um, called the Five Steps for Turning Your Passion into Profit. And I found that, I've seen that book, bought it, and think it's really, really amazing stuff in it um, as well. And I thought speaking is the best way to get your name out there. So there's a way to do it though. There's a way to start. You're not going to get on the, the stage, the big stages. And um, for me, it'd be, it might be Social Media Examiner or um, kind of the Social Media Summit that Digital Marketer have as well. Places like that or ClickFunnels. They've got a big kind of summit every year as well, which would be amazing to speak at. Um, so I'm not thinking about that at the moment, but they're in the back of my mind. But for me and you kind of starting out speaking, because I've never really spoke. I know I've organised this event. I've spoken at YDF London um, and India. I've spoken once. I've spoken at um, a kind of seminar in India once. But that's all the speaking I've ever done. So I need to practice the kind of speaking. And that's why I started the Facebook Live. So I could think off the top of my head. I could do Q&As off the top of my head as well. Now it's just dead natural to me. I can just do it um, off the top of my head and I love it, totally love it. And the next natural step is speaking. And I thought, okay, I'm going to share that with you because I think that's a good idea for everybody to do. But as I said, you don't go for the big kind of platforms at the beginning. You just go local. So your local college, they might be looking for a speaker um, for something you want to talk about in your niche, for example. So if you've got a niche that you're in, just now, and you think you think you could give a half hour kind of speech on that or a 45 minute speech on that, then just do it, but do it for free. So if it's a local local college, for example, do it for free. Um, if it's your local chamber of commerce, again, offer to do it for free as well. They're always looking for speakers. And there's loads of places looking for good speakers as well. You have to look around. But do it in your local area just now so you don't have to travel far. And then what's going to happen is you'll build up a portfolio of speaking gigs and you can obviously record them as well. You can um, get a videographer to record it for you. And what you can also do, and these are just ideas that are coming to me over the last week, so I want to share them with you. I've not acted on them yet. Well, a couple of I have actually, and I've got a speaking gig um, hopefully coming up in the next couple of weeks, which is going to be amazing. Cannot wait. Um, so I just want to pass the ideas that I get as I get them on to you as well. So the other thing I thought about is holding your own event, but just doing it for a very low kind of dollar amount. So $49 or £49, wherever you are kind of in the world, your currency. And do it for 50 people, say at £49, which would be you'd bring in maybe £2,500. You pay for the event, you pay for kind of lunches and stuff, and you make it as low a barrier to entry as possible so you get more people coming in at least 50 people when you do that you give a, a kind of topic talk for say three or four hours it might just be half a day or something or three hours or something 10 o'clock to one o'clock in the afternoon and do something like that but at the end of it 
you can then sell your product. You can then promote your product, not in a big, huge way. I don't like when I've kind of seen seminars and I've gone to seminars and they kind of try and sell for about half an hour to you and everybody gets up, goes to the back of the room, signs up. I don't like that. I know it should be done. It's just not my way of doing things. Um, my preference would be to say at the end of it, a big seminar like that would be just to say, I've got a program, yourdigitalformula.com. Check it out if you want to go check it out. If not, that's cool. And then I'll do a Q&A, for example. That's my way of doing it. Probably not the right way. I probably could make a ton more money if I'd done it the other way. But it's just my way of doing it. So you can sell and promote your products at the end of your talk. Because it's only been £49 that you're charging to bring in 50 people together in your local area, then it's going to be brilliant for you because you can just say at the end of it, give a five-minute talk on your programme or your service that you're offering as well. I just think it's a brilliant way to get your name known, plus build up your portfolio if you're getting a video guy in, or a video woman, I'm just saying a video guy, but if you're getting somebody in to video and um, record it for you as well, you can put that on your website of all the gigs that you've done as well for speaking, and you get your name known as a speaker. And then when you become bigger, obviously you can start charging for it as well. But you could literally, and I mean literally, if you took this to heart, you could just do local seminars in your local area. That's all you need to do, and you could make a, a really good living from that. And it's something I'm going to investigate more and kind of share with you more as well. And I'll do a module kind of in the YDF program as well. To let you know, let you know my experiences, and I'll bring somebody else in that's done it as well for you. Um, but if that's all you did, you could make a lot of money in your local area without having to travel too much. Um, if you've got a program online as well, you could sell a lot of your programs online, plus still make money um, from doing the local seminars as well. The trick there is to make it a low barrier to entry. I wouldn't do it free. I know speakers did that in the past. They offered free events and then tried to sell their kind of programs at the end of it, but I wouldn't do it for free. You always want to charge something because when there's a charge, it gets rid of the people that are just freebie seekers. It just gets rid of those people altogether. And then if it's a low barrier to entry, i.e. £49, $49, whatever it is, then you'll get people in, people in who are interested in what you have to say. Um, Organising it, really easy as well. It could be a local hotel that you've got. Um, it shouldn't be that much as well. And you can negotiate with the hotel owner um, as well. If it's a kind of smaller hotel, if it's a chain, it's going to be a wee bit harder. But if you've got a local hotel that's a really good one, then you can negotiate the kind of price of it as well because you're saying you're bringing 50 people in. They're going to buy drinks. They're going to buy lunch as well. So you might get the room for free. Um, and then you might have to just pay for the lunches or something. So you make more money just from the event itself. Plus you'll make money on the selling of your programs as well at the end of it. So I just think it's a brilliant way and I wanted to pass that on to you. Um. I'm just going to see if there's any comments about that just now. Um, Barbara Mackinson, are you Irish? No, I'm Scottish. Um, Barbara Mackinson saying guess not, and then she's saying shady. I don't know what that's all about. Um, but hi, Barbara. Um, Magella Carney, so true. I'm just looking through the comments. Maria Flynn, you're a natural at speaking, Stephen. I would have never known you've only spoken twice before I saw you in London. No, I've never spoken. Any. I know it can be nerve-wracking for a lot of people. Um, and it was nerve-wracking for me as well, but just because I'm in love with my topic of business online, of kind of personal development, I'm in love with it. So you're probably never going to get stuck for something to talk about. So say, for example, you had a slideshow or something and it kind of all went wrong. It all went awry and just something happened and you didn't have the slideshow anymore. You didn't have your notes. I could probably still talk about kind of loads of different topics in business and personal development um, off the top of my head and just kind of give a half hour, 45 minute speech on that alone. So I think if you know your topic well enough, and you know your niche well enough as well, you could probably do the same. You might not think you can, but you probably can. Particularly if you're doing a Facebook live show. If you've got a Facebook live show just now, I'm willing to bet you could stand up and talk for half half an hour, 45 minutes on a topic that you just kind of love. You wouldn't have to prepare for it that much, 
um, you could probably stand up and talk about it and take Q&As at the end of it as well. And when you think about it, that's all you really need to do at a local event. If you put on a local event for three hours, um, they get brilliant information, you get um, kind of money in as well for yourself, and you get your name known, plus you build up your portfolio of kind of speaking gigs, and if you're video recording them as well, you put them on your kind of site as well. And you, you put a speaker's portfolio together as well. And these are all things I'm just starting um, to do as well, but I wanted to pass the information on about the ideas that I've had because my brain brain is just kind of swirling kind of with ideas just now. There's loads of things going on in there that you wouldn't want to kind of know about, but there's loads of things going on in there. Um, and you probably get lost in a maze if you're inside this head of mine. Um, okay, I'm just going to see if there's any more comments. This is going to be a short one today. Because uh, I just wanted to pass that on as I was having the ideas. Um, so had I was doing online support. I am WordPress development. How to get more customers? You could do exactly what I was talking about there. Um, how to set up a web um, a, a website uh, in under fifteen minutes. You could do a local seminar for that. So had um, charge forty nine pounds for it or forty nine. I don't know um, where you're from, but whatever it is in your currency, the equivalent. Get some money in from the the event itself. And then you get people to sign up for your services as well at the end of it. Um, Lyslav Bonita, learning so many things from you by everyday watching. Thank you, Stephen. My pleasure and thank you for coming on um, kind of every day and kind of commenting and asking questions. Um, I really appreciate that, Lyslav. Um, Maria Flynn, I think Scotland will bring together a very unique perspective I've not seen. Personal development and business and inspiration to make a change. I'm all over it. Brilliant. And I can't wait for it as well. And that's why YDF Scotland 2017 is going to be different because it's not just about business. It's about personal growth. And from personal growth, you can grow your business as well. Because if we think about it, business is 70% personal development. It's all kind of about mindset, beliefs, your challenges, overcoming them, productivity and things like that as well. So 70% of business is kind of personal development. That's why we kind of married the two together. And it's personal growth and kind of business um, entrepreneurship um, growth as well. And that's what YDF Scotland is, is about. And this is just the first event we've ha we're having in Scotland. We had one in London last year, which was amazing. I've told you the story about how that came about. And if I'm being honest, how YDF um, kind of seminars, the live seminars came about as well. It was just meant to be a dinner, but they just grew arms and legs. Um, so the story of that's really good um, as well. So it's going to be amazing YDF Scotland and we're going to be having it every year in Scotland as well. Hopefully the same event at Dundas Castle. So it's going to be pretty shit hot actually. Um, and I'm not just saying that YDF London was shit hot. This is going to be even better. Um, Rachel Whitfield, perfect time for live chat, lunch hour. Excellent, so you're joining us on your, on your lunch hour, brilliant. Um, Stephen Webb. Doing lives has to be the best way of building confidence and courage in yourself. I honestly think that is true, and that's why we started, um, myself and Maria Flynn wrote the program, Your Brilliant Facebook Live System. So we wrote that program in the hopes that everybody would start doing a Facebook Live, and it's the first step to building your confidence as a speaker. Um, when you're doing the Facebook Lives, you learn to kind of riff um, just off your knowledge. I just love that surfing your knowledge and just kind of um, telling everybody about your knowledge, what you're, um, what you're passionate about, what you're really enthusiastic about as well, and sharing that with the world as well. And your Facebook Lives alone can get you kind of speaking gigs. So that's why I've saw a couple of people have written to me already about speaking, and it's purely because of the Facebook Live. Um, and I think it's going to be brilliant for everybody to do a Facebook Live, particularly like Stephen Webb is saying there, to build up your confidence um, in your topic and in your speaking abilities as well. Um, so I, I do totally agree with you, Stephen, and that's why we kind of started doing it. That's why I started doing the Facebook Lives as well. Um, so, yeah, I totally agree with you. Um, Julia Todorova, uh, I wish I could come in Scotland maybe next time. It would be brilliant if you, if you were there, Julia. Um, because, as I said, it's not just for YDF members. I know you've kind of um, came into the YDF monthly live training, which is brilliant. I'm really happy to see that growing and expanding as well. So that's excellent. I'm just wondering if there's any questions. I don't know if I've missed any. Um, Beverly J. D. Simone, 
Um, good morning. You have inspired me once again. Oh, brilliant. Thanks, Beverly. I'm glad I'm glad it's helping people doing this YDF live show. Uh, I'm really glad it's helping. Um, so thanks for that, Beverly. Um, Lisa Otto, love the angry therapist. John is brilliant. John Kim, the angry therapist. He is amazing. If you've ever if you've not seen his lives, go over to his page, The Angry Therapist, and check out some of his live shows. He's just dead natural, dead can he just speaks his mind, but he's dead cool as well. He's just one of those guys, he's just dead cool, he's got that laid back energy, and um, he speaks and he's an amazing speaker as well. So he's going to be brilliant in Scotland. Um Tiffany Reed, wow, a phenomenal lineup. Oh, I've read that out already, so that's cool. I think that's it for today. I just want to share that with you. Um, Barbara Mackinson, just saying you have very nice teeth, love. <laughs> Thank you very much, Barbara. I really appreciate you saying that. Um, Susan Jackman, yes, Stephen, I love the show. So grateful. Thank you very much, Susan. Um, Maria Flynn, QA, QA. Keeps uh, keeps you on your toes, and um, to that I think really builds up your confidence and refines your own message. Q and A is do is brilliant. I love doing the Q and A, and that's where I really start to riff, kind of off my surf my knowledge and just kind of share that with everybody. I love doing Q Q and As at the end. If I could do a kind of a, a show, not a show, a kind of live seminar just for Q and As, I would do it because uh, I love the Q and As. It makes me think off the top of my head. And it makes me realise sometimes that I actually know my shit. I know my, I know the stuff I'm talking about. Because sometimes you don't have belief in yourself enough to say, oh, I don't know if I know enough about that particular topic. But it's only when you get asked questions that you realise how much you actually do know. And that's the beauty of Q&As. That's why I love, totally love Q&As. And if I could do a whole kind of live seminar just for a Q&A session, I'd, I'd, I'd totally love that. Obviously, I'd go more in depth. Um, yeah, so that's it for today. I just want to share that with you. Hope it's given you kind of an idea to get you going. If it has, share it with us um, and let us know in kind of future shows that you've kind of taken on board some of the ideas and kind of rolled with it as well. Um, but that's it for today. Whatever you're doing today, have a brilliant day. And until tomorrow, which is Thursday, what, have we got anything special on tomorrow? Don't think so. So until tomorrow, namaste. Take care. Bye now.